welcome to today's construction class. My name is Oluwa Tumbi Blessing, or Laleko, the founder of Michael Tech. Alright, today we will be considering the problem as displayed on the screen. Okay, so uh, the very first thing is I'm going to actually produce that rectangular base. Okay, so I'm going to produce a uh, mark 110 by 15. So I'm going to pick my rectangular uh, 2, okay, uh, which is this. So I'm starting from here. That's 110 by 15. Enter. Okay, so uh, producing that. Okay, let me shift this down here. Okay, so producing that. So the height of mark B, which is the vertex, we are told that ABC is the parabola with B as the vertex. So the height from the point A, okay, from point A to the vertex B is 85 plus 30 plus 25. That's 140. So I'm going to create a mark of 140 up there. Okay, 140. Okay, mark of 140. From this up there, okay. So I have that already, as you can see on the screen. That distance is 140. Okay, then I'm going to actually try and what, produce my what my parabolic uh, curve using the rectangular method. Okay, rectangular method. So my parabola is going to actually cover this area and this area. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to actually produce a, a center line. Okay, the center line right here to divide to divide uh, the rectangular box. Okay, I'm putting my parabola. Okay, so one thing, one thing. So one thing divided by two is what? Fifty-five. Fifty-five divided by five is what? That is eleven. So each from the midpoint, I'm going to offset a mark of eleven towards uh, the left and right hand side. Okay, mark of eleven. So I'm going to do that now. So with eleven, enter. I'm going to offset this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that there won't be a uh, misconception. Let me change the color of this. I want to change the color of this to something like this. Blue. Okay, so why the color of this? Yeah, uh, these lines here. Let me change that to something yellow like this. So I'm going to match this property to the whole of this here, including this right here. Okay, so I'm going to replicate this thing into the other half. But to do that, I can actually do that easily. So you can do that with your pencil and your ruler. Okay, do that with your pencil and your ruler. So I'm going to do it like this and like this. Okay, so I already have that in that order. So the height, the height is 140. So 140 divided by 5, that is going to be 28. That is going to be 28. So likewise, I'm going to offset that height to uh, a distance of 20 also. So let me first of all match this to this. Okay, so I'm going to pick my offset also, mark of 28. And I'm trying to develop my parabola, okay? I'm trying to develop one. Okay, sorry. One. One. Two, three. That's it. So already fully divided. So the next thing is I'm going to pick uh, my line to get my parabola. So from this midpoint, okay, to this area, that's going to be mark one, right? So from this edge to that area, that's mark two, mark three. Okay, come here, mark four, and right here is with mark five. So I'm going to replicate it to go to the other side also. But before that, let me actually match their properties to make everything what yellow. To make everything yellow. Okay, so that's it. So I'm going to move them to the other side also. So replicate the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, replicate it to the opposite side. Which is this? Sorry, oh, sorry. That's a mistake from my part. Okay. Okay. So now, what's left for us is to actually draw out our parabolic curve. I'm going to do that right now. 
So you can use your French code to actually do that from your end. Use your French code, okay? So I'm going to actually. Oh, sorry, that was a mistake. I'm going to start from here to here and to here. So I'm having that first one right there. So I'm going to join from here, from here to here and to here. So that is it. That is my uh, parabolic cup. Okay, I'm going to actually increase the thickness of that cup so that it can actually stand out. Okay. I'm going to increase the thickness of that cup so that it can stand out. So I'm going to come here, increase it to my cup 30, and I'm going to make it visible. I'm going to make it visible. Alright, as you can see, it stands out. So I'm going to match that across like this. So I want to is to solve this problem. You actually know how to produce a parabola using the rectangular method. That is, you can do that, then you are almost halfway done. You are almost halfway done. That is, so I'm trying to produce my own parabola now. So I expect you to do yours. Alright, so if you don't know how to produce a parabola using the rectangular method, uh, kindly check the description under the video, under the uh, video description below. Yeah, we are even going to actually see how to produce the parabola using the using the uh, rectangular method. We have a video on that. Okay, we have a video on that, which is actually going to help you. So now we have our parabola as it is now, which is A B C. All right. So looking uh, towards uh, the right hand side, we have uh, ellipse D E G D E G as our ellipse. Okay. And uh, we are given we are given the minor ag the major axis and the focal points, but we are not given the minor axis. So to actually do this, I'm going to do this using uh, this card software. So if you don't know how to produce an ellipse via focal points method, please kindly check the same link under the description below. You will see the link on how to produce ellipse using focal point method because it is through this method you will actually deduce how to get your minor axis when given. The major and what and the focal points. So uh, to actually do this now, I'm actually going to uh, take the distance from the center of my parabola to mark E on the right hand side is what is 36. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to offset that at mark 36. So from this center here, right here is 36, as you can see on the screen right here. And the distance from uh, the top, which is mark E, to the center of my ellipse is what is 45. Is 45. I'm going to do that also. Okay, that's my mark 45. Okay, so this is my what this is my center right here, as you can see right now. That is my center right here, right now. Okay, so that is my center right there, 45. Okay, so what is the next step now? I'm going to get my minor. My minor is what is 35 from the midpoint. So I'm going to pick a mark of 35, and I'm going to what offset that also. Yeah, that is it. So that is so the distance from here. To here now is what is 35. Why the distance from here to here is what is 45. So at uh, this area here, I'm going to extend this line very well. I'm going to try and get my minor axis. So to get my minor axis, so distance from the center of my ellipse to uh, this area here, that's my semi major, that is 45. So picking my semi major axis, picking my semi major axis, which is 45, I'm going to start at the center. Okay. No, I'm going to, with my same major axis, which is 45, I will start at my focal point. So, at my focal point, with my same major axis, and my same major axis is 45. And I'm going to draw an arc. You see, so where this arc touches this line, that is my what? My minor axis. The distance from this intersection to this center right here is my what? Is my minor axis. So, with that, I can produce my what? My ellipse. So, using either approximate method or focal point method or uh, auxiliary second method. You can use any of this method to produce your ellipse. Okay, so but I'm going to actually do this one using computer. Okay, so from this area to this area and down it, I have my ellipse. That is it. So cheap, like what, like planting chips. So I'm going to make that also visible. So the issue is this: if you don't know how to produce these things using pencil, you will actually have difficulties solving them. So I'm going to advise you to. Uh, learn how to produce ellipse using focal point method and most importantly approximate method those are the two easier methods and auxiliary circuit method so any of the method that suits you you apply them to solve problems such as this so this particular concept is not hard at all it is not hard at all so it's just about you understanding the basics if you can produce a parabola you can produce an ellipse then you are good to go 
you are good to go. That's the simple truth. You are good to go. All right. So now, if you look at it now, towards the bottom side of our right, from uh, this uh, area of our object. Okay. Let me match the property here also. Make it white. Okay. Here to here. Okay. Yeah. The distance from this area upward is twenty. So I'm going to get that now also. Mark twenty, which is from here up there, which is twenty. Okay. So. I'm going to extend this line a little. That is 20. So I'm going to now pick my line. Picking my line right now. I'm going to draw from this mark 20. Tangential to my ellipse. You see? Tangential to my ellipse right here. So, and that is it. So I'm going to actually thicken that also. Oh, sorry. I'm going to thicken that also. Which is like this. So that area is also what is also set to do. Okay. So what's left for me is to actually get the ellipse RS. We are told that RS is an identical portion of an of an ellipse, and the distance from the top here to point S is what 25 plus 30. That is 55. So I'm going to pick a distance of 55 also from this top here. Okay, from this top here downward. Okay. So so doing that now i'm going to actually extend this okay so just follow what i'm going to do i'm going to extend that okay so now uh i'm going to pick my mark 30 so this junction here is my mark x and distance from here to your area is what is 30. so i'm going to pick 30 okay with my 30 standing here i move what's up here you can see that now that's what is set to okay that is set to so the next thing is to actually produce my what ellipse. So I have my major axis, semi major, which is 30, but I don't have minor. So I'm going to advise you use mark of 20 for your minor. Use mark of 20 for your minor, for your minor axis. So since I'm using mark 20 for my minor axis, I'm going to pick my ellipse. So the midpoint for my ellipse is actually oh, I need to actually get that midpoint for my mark X C. So for my mark X, which is this area, I'm producing a vertical line up there. Okay, so um, yeah, that's a mistake on my part. So now where this vertical line on my mark X intersects this area, that is what that is center of my ellipse. So I'm going to pick my ellipse with 35 as my uh, minor axis. I might know how this is. Okay, so I said 85. My minor axis is 30. Sorry, it's 30. So, sorry, my major axis is 80. My major axis is 30. Our minor is going to be, my minor is going to be 20. Enter. So I have that already. So I'm going to match the properties also with this. So as I said earlier, learn how to produce an ellipse using uh, the focal point method. The auxiliary circle method and the approximate method is actually going to help you going along with. So, for this ellipse here now, my major axis is 30 and my minor result is 20 since you are not given. So, I actually assume that. I assume that minor axis. Okay, I assume that. So, that is that and not that. Okay, so I'm going to actually uh, also uh, train this and this and from this here yeah so i'm going to take that out i'm going to actually match it also this for this as you can see so we are almost there we are almost there so the next thing is to get our uh this area at the top okay and picking my line from the midpoint here towards the top is what's mark of what's 10 enter so the list, the width of this area at the top is what is actually 10 mm. So I'm going to uh, offset it five towards the left and right. So five here, five here. So making what's making 10. And I'm going to take this one out. Okay. So from this instance, the radius of the circle at the top there is what is 20 is 12. 10 plus 12 is what 22. Enter. So with height of 22 right here, I was I pick my circle. I pick my circle. Of radius what radius 12 and you know, what I drew. So after doing that, I'm going to actually extend this from here to that area, extend this towards that area, and then extend this towards the bottom also, like this and like this. So doing that, I'm going to match the property also 
like this right here right here and uh, right here so never forgetting the letter part here the letter part here okay so the distance from here to here is going to be a 10 enter okay followed by 15 enter then lock it up right here okay so i'm going to replicate the same thing here also like this okay and enter 15 enter and this so then i'm going to actually uh ticking them okay yeah it is, it, it is going to actually stand out all right it is going to stand out it is going to stand out it is going to stand out so that is the solution to that problem on this screen so as i said earlier learn the basics of uh, production of a parabola uh, using rectangular method, production of an ellipse using focal point, auxiliary circle, and approximate method. So, this concept is actually very cheap. It is one of the most cheapest problems you ever face in your exam, okay? Because the instructions are already given. So, to me, it is a cheat. It is a cheat. The instructions are actually, are actually given. The instructions are actually given. So, when you know the basics of all of this, then you will be able to put them together. As you can see, what you actually did here now. So it's just the basics of this stuff, right? So that is it. My name is Oluwa to be blessing or Laleko, the founder of Michael Tech. So if you need help figuring out uh, more contents of engineering, you can actually get in touch with us by using the flyer at the beginning of this video. Thank you. <laughs>